So I'm going to go over the bottom end of a 2010 Serif 250R. This is a 2014. Got the RM125 and then the 2010 that's being worked on. Had an issue with one of the gears rubbing up on the casing. Tried to find the issue and we ended up cracking that. So these are the efforts to fix it. First, the transmission. So here's our front sprocket, and then as our power comes out of our engine, it'll connect back here through the main shaft to the counter shaft. Just so you kind of know where we're talking about, the chain will go out back. Okay, and here are the shifting forks. You just ride on these two rods and they just go into place there and pull the gears up and down. That's what actually gets pulled to spin to change gears. So multiple ones of those live in there. You just push these out of the way Slide that in there. There's only one way they can go because these have to point in towards that. You got a left. That'll say right. And that has an M or a C for middle or center. And obviously it corresponds with the left and right casing. So this would be the right because here's our kickstart. Just remember these also only have three paths. Left, center, and right. So it doesn't matter how you put it together, it'll just be in a certain gear. So you can drop it down in there. And then just kind of spin it until that lines up fairly close with one. Then once you're in, line that up. On the bottom groove and the top groove. And you'll line up there. Go all the way through the casing, and you're good. And here we have it in gear. Okay, so this is first gear. I'll try to do the same input on the main shaft back here. You can see how slow it's going. And as you halfway shift up to neutral, the gears are not connected in any way. Obviously, that's how neutral works. Sometimes when you're in first and the gears are jammed tight on each other and you're trying to find neutral, it's kind of hard to break through. That's why you need to wiggle these just a little, just pull on the back wheel or rock the bike forward just to get those gears to get the pressure off of one another so that you can cleanly shift into neutral. Then as we shift up to second, you can see we get a little more speed out of our sprocket. Then third gear. Seeing a little more, fourth gear, and then ultimately fifth gear. Top dead center is what its first measurement is going to be. Stroke one is all the way down, so that's pulling oxygen in. The intake valves are going to open up at this time. And then stroke two, as this comes up, the intake valves close. And as it goes up, it compresses all of that air into the top of the cylinder. And then stroke three, there's an explosion that sends the piston down. And that's where you get your power. You only get your power out of the third stroke. Stroke four comes up with the exhaust valve starting to open, pushing the exhaust out. That's a full four strokes. And then your RPMs come out of revolutions per minute, obviously. So one, two, three, four, five, six, do the math. 